Hi everybody, Alex Sproy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at a tool that I've been using for absolutely years. It's a the 360 degree market indicator and it really summarizes the whole market on one page as you can see on your screen. It provides trading signals. You can set it up to provide trading signals. It has eight indicators that you can use and what's very important is the currency strength meters that are provided. This is the first indicator that I look at before I view the charts. And in fact, in yesterday's video, we looked at the importance of using the charts to see which trends are in place as a result of the ongoing war that is currently happening. Now, the alternative way to do that would be to use the 360 degree indicator. And I'm going to work through the indicators with you to give you a good idea of its power. So on your screen, you can see the 360 degree market view indicator. And it what, what it does is you can set up all your major trading currencies. I think there's about 28 there. And you can read them over various time frames so at the moment i've got one hour four hour daily and weekly you can go right down to one minute time frames and i'll show you that aspect so that you can read the indicator readings completely and you can there are eight indicators there's the atr the adx the cci the moving average indicator the bollinger bands the stochastics the macd and the rsi you don't have to look at all of them at the same time. You can select your favorite ones and block out the others. And I'll show you how you do that. And you can select your own time frame. So very, very handy indicator. You can also tell the ind indicator what kind of signals you want to see, how strong they should be, and that type of thing. So it really does focus you when you come into this indicator you can immediately see where the opportunities in the market lie then there's then you can control the presentation by uh, increasing the size or decreasing the size which is quite handy and you can select what you want to see now I'm going to go and look at the currency strength so there's another aspect of the currency strength indicator so I, I don't want to see the market i don't want to do the execution so here's the currency strength and i want to see it a little bit bigger than it is now and um, i love this particular one because it gives you the strength of the various currencies uh, in different time frames and also you can see them compared to their trading partners so if we had to say, all right, I'm interested in, in the pound at the moment. Um, it's strong, strong in the four hour, strong in the, the six hour, strong in the 12 hour for uh, the daily. But it's been very weak in the last week and very weak in the last month. And the numbers you see there are the pips that are either gained compared to its trading partners or lost compared to its trading partner. So if you add a column like that up, you should become you, you, you should come to zero because the winners should equal the losers. And as you can see, this is live information. These numbers are changing on an ongoing basis as we're looking at them. And uh, let's have a look, a look. So you can see that the yen, for instance, has been a weak currency throughout. In all the time frames, the yen has been weak. So let's have a look. If I click on the yen here, at the bottom here, it shows the time frames and the currencies compared to the yen. So you can see that the yen has been re relatively a little bit stronger in the last three hours. But overall, the yen has been really bad and it has mainly got red numbers there. Uh, it has only beaten the euro and the pound uh, over the last week and month. So so they are the, the greens is where the euros, where the yen has beaten the euro and beaten the pound. 
So, so that's the way you look at it. If we look at the pound, for instance, let's look at it. You can see how strong the pound is has become in the last while. Very, very strong. But it's been it's trying to make up for the weakness it's had over the last week and month. But it has improved. So it immediately gives you a, a feel of which currencies are strengthening, which ones have been weak, that type of thing. If you look at the euro, you should see that more or less the same picture yes very weak in the past strengthening a little bit but not as good as the pound so it gives you an overall picture and then this middle one you can decide which time frame you want to have a look at to see how the various currencies have done and you can see the Aussie has been the strongest currency uh, over the last week in that it's gained uh, the, these negatives are the uh, result of those currencies so it's actually been uh, it's reduced those currencies by that amount so the Aussie has been the strongest and if we want to look at that let's look at the Aussie over the last week you can see all green month all green so the Aussie has been really the strongest currency around so th this this indicator has been very helpful to me to see the movements in the currencies and the way that they have changed for, for instance the pound has become so strong where it was very weak before the yen has become very weak overall so uh, and the uh, Aussie, as we've seen, has been very strong, but is weakening now in the last three hours. And the New Zealand has be also been strong like the Aussie, except for the last few uh, hours. So, uh, very handy tool. And let me go into the actual settings to give you a little bit more of an idea of how you can set these settings up. So down we go so it actually says um, which currencies do you want to monitor and you can actually put in the currencies if you don't want to monitor the CAD for instance you can take it out of that list so you can say which currencies you want to monitor then it says which currency pairs do you want to monitor and you just enter all the pairs that you want to monitor in there uh, which time frames do you want to use? You can you can choose from the one minute to the one month time frame. So you can just put that in and, that, and uh, it will monitor those time frames. And uh, which indicators do you want to use? And there are eight to choose from. And you can then just do th do that. And then you can also um, let's just for instance uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, take four of those off and uh, say OK and then let's have a look at the display you see the display is slightly different but now the, I don't like this particular display because it's displaying it over two levels so what I would do is I would go in here and I'd say no I don't I want to see it on one level so multi-level layout so let's have a look if I can get it on one level and we say OK and there we are so now i've got it so so it's a very flexible tool it gives potential trades um, uh, gives it gives uh, alerts uh, you can change the size to fit better there we are and um and let's go back into the settings and give you an idea of what else you can do so you can actually set the various indicators to the settings that you like you can tell it when it's overbought and oversold and super overbought and oversold and all that type of thing and you can go through each of the settings and provide your own personal settings the default ones are pretty good as they are and you can use various various colors for your displays okay so i hear you ask where can i find this 360 degree indicator there it is it's one of the forex trading tools 360 indicator 88 dollars but you can get special discounts like for instance uh, youtube viewers get a 50 percent discount and then the other place that you can find the indicator is on our premium forum it's under free tools click on that so when you're a member you get a whole list of uh, our free tools so let's have a look at where the indicator and yes you can see there are so many free tools available to our premium members and let's go down all right I think it's one of the earlier ones that I've added um, there's a lot of free stuff in here courses and uh, let's have a look
Oh, the candle finder is a very good one. Oh, it must be on the one of the first pages. And here we are, the 360 degree market view. It's a gift version for the premium members. Added 10 months ago. So it's been around for a long time. I've been using this particular tool for the last four years. So it's been uh, one of the f my main trading tools that I use. So I hope you found this video interesting and links to the 360 degree indicator and also to the forum where you can actually get all those other indicators will be in the description of the video as well as in the first comment of the video. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.